Hi there, I'm Farmer Brad and on today's video I'm going to assemble a meat grinder and grind some chicken with a KitchenAid mixer. This is a professional series of KitchenAid mixer and this is the meat grinder that will attach. You lift that up. First thing you do is you unplug the mixer and make sure that it's in the off position. Here is the auger piece that will go in there. First, you place that on there and loosen this until you can secure it. Then place this grinder piece down in there. Now this piece here actually slices and dices the meat before it gets shoved out. So you want to place the sharp side out and then you can place the cover, the screen, and we're gonna go with this size. And when you have that Thread that on. And now you're set up to grind some meat. Today we're going to grind chicken breast meat. So I have a glass bowl here to receive the meat once it's ground. Now what I need to do is cut these into little strips in order to feed them in there. Here I have some breast meat and going to Cut it into some strips and some chunks. So I'll see if these are uh, good enough size. Go ahead and plug the mixer in. and turn it on. Drop the meat in there. And here it comes out. I have this in a low setting. It seems to be working fine. So we'll let the rest of that work itself out. Okay, so now I'm going to weigh out the ground chicken in order to know how much I need for the seasoning. So I have my scale and I'm going to zero it out with the plate. Maybe adding.
Okay, so that's one pound. So let's just get this to two pounds. Okay, that's close enough. So I'm going to go ahead and put this meat back in this mixing bowl. And now I need to weigh out one ounce of seasoning. Here's the seasoning that I got. It comes in two ounce seasoning package, which is good for five pounds of meat. And since we only have two pounds of meat, I'm going to reduce it. Uh, weigh this out. Let's go up to 0 0.04. Then I'll sprinkle this on there, work it in. There we go. Now I'm going to unplug this and rinse this off and then we can get it ready for packaging the uh, sausage. Here I got edible collagen sausage casing. This is the 19 millimeter which is for um, snack sticks basically. And so what I need to do is slide it over it before I add the attachment. Here I have the sausage lining on the stuffer. I'm really not sure what these are called, but I put that back on. Actually, you don't twist it yet because you'll want the air and everything to go out of it first, but you prep the end. Plug the machine back in. Turn the machine on. After looking at the footage, I don't know why I ended up stopping the mixer and taking the auger out. In hindsight, just leave the mixer going and there's another die that has larger holes. You can replace it with that and have the auger push the sausage meat into the sausage casing. I don't know what I was doing. But hey. There's always a first. I'll go ahead and cut these. Now 
Then I'll put these in the freezers, freezer as to firm up. There we go. Two pounds of ground chicken meat ended up making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sausage links and four sausage patties. Hope you enjoyed this video. I've never done this before, so that's why it was a little clumsy, but the parts that you need in order to do this, I'll put in the description of the video, and I hope to grill these up on the stove soon, and I'll let you know how they taste. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.